Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Gabriel Knight Teil 2. Wir befinden uns mit Gracie im Gasthof. Goldener Löwe. Und ich würde sagen, ich werde mich jetzt erstmal umschauen und dann spreche ich mit Werner Huber. Pretty damn cute. I wonder who he is. <lacht> I have no idea what that says. Looks old though. Da steht irgendwas von wegen Wahrheit. Hm. I wonder who he is. Sieht aus wie ein Monarch oder so. Guten Tag. Sind Sie Werner Huber? Yes. Huh. You are an American, eh? Huh? Guess I haven't quite got the accent down, huh? <laughs> I'm a friend of Gabriel Knight. I'm staying at the castle. Good. You're the proprietor of this Gastoff? Yes. It's very nice. Do you mainly serve food and drinks here? Oh, we have guest rooms upstairs too, yeah. Oh? Does Riddersburg get a lot of tourists? Some, not so many know about this place. It is perhaps better that way. Germans on holiday come here. Foreigners find their way here one way or another. You speak English very well. Yes. How did you learn it? Wolfgang taught some of us. He thought we should know. Really? Why? It is a very good question, is it not? Hmm? Hmm. Wolfgang wollte die Leute vorbereiten auf Dinge. Tell me about Riddersburg. It is a small town, private. We keep our business to ourselves. You mean about the Schattenjägers? Oh, the Schattenjägers, sure. The Schattenjägers are of this place, and this place is of them. Uh -huh. We believe in the old ways here. It has not changed much over the centuries. We still remember what the rest of the world has forgotten. And that is? That life is a battle between the light and the dark. Do you know this? Eigentlich weiß sie das. Sie hat ja im ersten Teil schon Erfahrungen sammeln können äh, bezüglich übernatürlichen Fällen. Hm. I never got to meet Gabriel's great uncle. What was he like? Oh. He was a true Schattenjäger, like in the old days. He knew things. What kinds of things? Things. He, he had, how do you say it, uh, the sight. He was a very good man to go to when you needed advice. Ja, die Ritters haben so, so eine Art magische Fähigkeiten, so Visionen und ein Gespür für das Böse und so. It must have been hard for the town when Wolfgang died. Yeah, it was bad, yes. But not a surprise. Gerd on you. It was harder on her than the rest of us. Really? Were she and Wolfgang close? You said Wolfgang was a true Schattenjäger. I suppose Gabriel... I mean, he's probably not what you expected. Oh. Oh, we shall see with that one. Yeah. One cannot know the quality of the iron until it has been in the fire. Eh? We shall see. Er muss sich erstmal beweisen. Und dann kann man ein Urteil fällen. I think I mentioned that I was a friend of Gabriel Knight. Yes. Well, I came to help him on a case. A Schattenjäger case. That's a good. 
<laughs> well, we got our wires crossed and he'd already left by the time I got here. But Gerda mentioned that he was on a case for you. No, no, no. No, not for me. For my cousin, Sepp. Lots of cousins around here. Uh, is Sepp in town? No, no. He and his wife went north for a few weeks. We does not live in Rittersberg anyway. Oh. Well, perhaps you can help me then. How do you mean? <laughs> do you know how long Gabriel will be gone? If he is a good Schattenjäger, he will not come back until he has done what must be done. If he is not, who can say? Maybe he will not come back at all. What must be done? Gerd is not sure where Gabriel is exactly, but you know where I can find him, don't you? It is not my business to tell people where to find the Schattenjäger. It is maybe not so safe, you see. Yes, I do see, and I appreciate your caution, really. But we worked together on his last case, and believe me, you'd be doing him a favor. Hmm. If he wants you to help him, he will have to contact you at the castle <laughs> and tell you where he is himself. Great. Can you tell me what Gabriel's case is about? What? Not specifically, of course, but in general. On our last case, we had to deal with a voodoo cult. I was just thinking, if I just knew what he was up against, maybe I could do some research. Well... He left so quickly, I guess. He didn't have time to investigate here at all. And the Schottenjäger archives might have something pertinent in them. If I knew what to look for, that is. Yes, that is true. There is much to be learned from the Schottenjäger past. Exactly. Gabriel is new at this, you know? And Wolfgang's not around to give him advice. All right, young lady. I will tell you what it is you need to look for. Yes? Werewolf. Werewolf? Werewolf. Dum, ta -dum, -dum. Gabriel's new case involves werewolves? Ah, you don't believe in such things. I don't know. It's a little outside. If you truly want to be an aide to a Schattenjäger, you will have to believe in such things. Things that are outside. If you cannot... All right, a werewolf. What do you know about them? Werewolves, that is. Some things. This is not the first time that Rittersberg has seen the work of a werewolf, or even a werewolf itself. Really? Hmm. Oh, no, not in my lifetime, you understand. But I was told of it when I was a boy. One was brought to town. It had killed many people. The Schattenjäger caught him. He was tried here. When was this? Seventeen mm, hundreds, I think, somewhere around in there. Thanks. Bitte. Seventeen hmm. hundreds. Okay, gibt's da irgendwie Stadt Aufzeichnungen oder sowas? Hm. Hallo, Herr Habermas. Hello again. Did you need something else? Do you keep old town records here? Criminal trial records? Yes, we have files going back to the 12th century. Great. Werner Hoover told me about a local trial that supposedly involved a werewolf. I'd like to learn more about it. What was the date? Sometime in the 1700s. I'm afraid I would need a more specific time frame. We have many, many files. Yes, of course. Thanks for your time. Certainly.
Good day. Hm, okay, ich muss also irgendwie in die Schattenjägerbibliothek. Äh. Hm. Wie komme ich da rein? Ach, ich glaube, ich erinnere mich, wie das geht. Handwerker ist weg. Uh. Werkzeug. Das wäre jetzt klauen. <lacht> Was haben wir hier? One of the workman's screwdrivers. Ein Schraubendreher. Ach, guck mal hier, jetzt haben wir was. Gabriel's case. Gerda says that Gabriel's... Ach so. Gerda says that Gabriel's on a case for Werner Huber, who runs the gas off in town. She won't tell me what it's about, though. She says he's staying somewhere near Munich. Werner Huber says that Gabriel's case concerns werewolves. Mm -hmm. Werewolf case in Rittersburg. Werner Huber says that there was a werewolf trial in Rittersburg. He thinks it occurred sometime in the 1700s. I think I'll look into it. Das finde ich cool mit den Notizen hier. Da ist irgendwie so ein komischer Stein rausgefallen. Einer von diesen hier. Hm. Ich habe zu viel Black Mirror gespielt. Ich habe direkt daran gedacht, jetzt kommt da irgendwie so ein Speer raus oder so. <lacht> Tot. Ein bisschen drin rumpulen. Was soll schon schief gehen? Oh, eine Geheimtür. Hm. Da ist jetzt eine Wand aufgegangen. Hui. Someone's been using this passageway. Hmm. Ja, ich denke mal, früher ähm, war hier so ein Gang zwischen den Zimmern, weil ich glaube, Eheleute haben getrennt gelebt. Oder so die, die Dame hatte ihr eigenes Zimmer und der Herr hatte sein eigenes Zimmer. Und wenn sie dann sich treffen wollten, dann konnten sie hier durchgehen. Okay, soll ich jetzt unten lang gehen oder da lang gehen? Ich weiß nicht. Let me guess. Gerda's bedroom. What a surprise. Eine Verbindung zu Gabriel's Zimmer. Aber das war halt früher Wolfgangs Zimmer. Das darf man nicht vergessen. I can't go out that way. I don't want Gerda to know I'm in here. Das ist Wolfgang. Für 70 sah er noch ganz quietschfidel aus. That must be Wolfgang. Something to remember him by, I guess. Das 
da noch irgendwas? Nee. Ich glaube nicht. That must be Wolf. Ja, ja, ja. That is Wolfgang. Get his clothes. Isn't she just as cute as a button? I'll just bet I know what this unlocks. The Bibliothek. Ich werde noch mal gucken, was hier ist. Als wenn ich gleich irgendwo in den Tod stürze oder so. Ach so, übrigens, ich habe mich erkundigt über das Schloss hier, das Schloss der Ritters. Das gibt's wohl wirklich. Also das heißt aber nicht Schloss Ritter, sondern Burg Rabenstein. Und ähm, das kann man halt immer noch betreten. Das ist sowohl ein Hotel, man kann da auch Events äh, abhalten, man kann da Hochzeiten feiern, Partys feiern. Da gibt es irgendwie auch... Ähm, Mittelaltermärkte, die riesig groß sind, Turnier, so Kampf, Schwertturniere, es gibt Spanferkel, Essen, Whisky, Testungen. Da ist richtig Rambazamba da in dem Schloss oder auch ähm, in der Umgebung in, bei den Ländereien. Da ist andauernd irgendwas los. Man kann da auch ein riesig großes äh, Silvester-Event äh, abhalten. Man kann das äh, auch mieten, die Burg, für irgendwie, keine Ahnung, Lab-Events oder Pen-and-Paper-Runden und so. Also das ist schon äh, belebt, würde ich mal sagen. Und ähm, das ist in Bayreuth, heißt das. Und das ist in Oberfranken, also in Bayern. Fand ich aber cool, dass da so viel Action los ist da. Nun gut, ich schaue mich mal ein bisschen. An Emergency Exit. I guess that makes sense if you're fighting the legions of darkness. How convenient. When the lord of the manor is slipping through the passageway to his amorous adventures, he can pick up a few flowers. Flowers. The castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. Ja, hat Gerda ja auch gesagt. The castle looks huge from Vorsicht, nicht dass wir uns hier die Haxen brechen. Aber soweit ich weiß, das Geschlecht der Rabensteins, also das Äquivalent zu der Ritterfamilie, gibt es aber tatsächlich nicht mehr. Das Geschlecht ist ausgestorben. Dass die, also die Burg Rabenstein gehört, glaube ich, jetzt irgendeiner anderen Adelsfamilie. Das wurde irgendwie übergeben. Aber finde ich schon echt interessant. Oh, ich würde so gerne da, da übernachten auf der Burg. So, dann so dieses das Zimmer wie hier. Aber ich habe mir die Online-Seite angeguckt, also die Internetseite. 
Also die Zimmer sehen nicht so aus wie hier in dem Spiel. Die sind deutlich luxuriöser. Da gibt es auch irgendwie ja, drei, vier Sterne Gedöns und sowas. Aber schon bezahlbar. Fand ich cool. Ich muss mal so eine Gabriel Knight Reise machen nach Bayern und dann alles besuchen. So, wir haben ein linkes, ein rechtes und ein mittleres Regal. Was mache ich denn jetzt? Kann ich hier auch irgendwo in den Vordergrund? Nee. Okay. Dann. Äh... Biographies. Looks like they're mostly about Germans. The Journal of Victor Ritter. I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. Victor Ritter's Journal. Hmm, okay. 1720, 1753. Ich würde ganz gerne chronologisch Bücher vorlesen. Ich gucke erstmal alle an und dann lese ich das vor, was ähm, am weitesten zurückliegt. Books on the occult. Here we go. Vampires, witchcraft, ghosts, Asian spirits, hmm. Lycanthropes. Leib und Seele und das Nest. How did you get in here? Oh, hi. How did you unlock the door? Maggie. <laughs> oh, oh. How rude. Oh, I see. All right. Look, let's just drop all the pretense, okay? Obviously, I found the passageway. I know what's been going on in this little Alpinian love nest, and really, I couldn't care less. If you want to screw around with your employer, that's none of my business. But what I won't put up with is just assisting the Schottenjäger crap. I gave up school to work on this stuff because I thought it was important. I'm doing the research that Gabriel wanted, and so help me, I'm going to be doing more than just research this time around. And I'm going to sit around and wait for him to call and give me permission. And if you don't like it, it's just too damn bad! Okay, fine. You do the damn research. Yeah, oh my God. Damn it. Oh, Gracie. Was machst du nur? Uh, ja, sie hat halt geklaut. Das war halt Diebstahl. Und das ist halt irgendwie sehr rüde gewesen von ihr. Und das gerne das blöd findet, kann ich verstehen. Ich kann aber auch irgendwie zum Teil Gracie verstehen. Ich glaube, sie wollte sich irgendwie bei irgendeiner Schule bewerben, irgendwie ein Studium noch machen oder sowas. Und das hat sie aufgegeben, 
für oder wegen Gabriel. Das ist zwar ihre eigene Schuld, aber ich kann halt verstehen, warum sie so verzweifelt ist. Sie hat das Ganze aufgegeben wegen den Schattenjäger-Dingern und Fällen und Geschäften. Aber Gabriel hat halt eigentlich gar keinen Bock, dass sie da ist und auf sie und dass sie ihm hilft und so. Er flieht halt vor ihr und das kann ich verstehen, dass sie das kacke findet, aber ich meine, irgendwann muss man auch sein eigenes Leben leben. Und dann sag einfach, okay, Gabriel, ich verpiss mich, tschüss. Wenn du keinen Bock auf mich hast, dann hau ich ab. Bye, bye. Ganz einfach. Ihm immer hinterher zu rennen, ist halt irgendwie auch nicht gut für Grace, finde ich. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. Okay, Victor das Ludwig. Ich glaube, wir lesen erstmal allgemeine Sachen über Lykanthropen. Lykanthropen Charles Jennings Lore and Law. Chapter 3. Uh, okay. Lycanthropy, the ways of the wolf. Das muss ich alles übersetzen. Wow, okay. Shit. <lacht> naja. Ich habe ja gesagt, ich mach's. There are two categories of werewolf cases. False or lycanthropic disorder cases. And genuine. Genuine werewolf cases. Lycanthropic disorder. LD is a mental condition in which the subject, called a lycanthrope, believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed Werewolfry are really the works of lycanthropic disorder victims. Und dann haben wir man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds. Such as howling. Okay. Also es gibt zwei verschiedene Fälle, wenn es um Werwölfe geht. Einmal gibt es das Lykanthropen, äh, ja, was, wie danach sagt man Disorder, Lykanthropic Disorder, das ist so, ein, so eine mentale Sache. Die Leute denken nur, sie sind Werwölfe, sind aber trotzdem sehr gefährlich und äh, könnten für sich selber und für andere sehr schädlich sein. Und dann gibt es halt echte Werwölfe, die äh, verändern sich wirklich physisch und diese Veränderung in die Wolfsform kann entweder durch eigenen Willen geschehen, kann durch den Mond verursacht werden oder wenn sie Geheul hören, also von anderen Wölfen oder von Hunden, keine Ahnung. Werewolves and Immortality Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical diseases due to the constant regeneration of their physical tissue. They can, therefore, be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as Hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Okay. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shapeshifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the like 
Kaonia curse, being bitten by a werewolf, and being born to a werewolf. In each case, the blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Okay, wie kann man ein Werwolf werden? Entweder wird man verflucht von jemand, der magisch begabt ist, oder man wird gebissen, oder man wird geboren. Also der Vater oder die Mutter ist ein Werwolf und dann ist man das Kind eines Werwolfs. Okay. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse or bite, is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood. Once he does, his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him. Even without tasting of human blood, however, as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul, it cannot enter into he heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death. Okay. Werewolf packs. Like real wolves, werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pack often leads them away from their secretive lifestyle into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to werewolfry for companionship. This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth or curse. In other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called Beta Werewolves because they became werewolves through the bite of the Alpha and carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Alpha and Beta Werewolves. The relationship between Alpha and Beta Werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope, as long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. It is important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since betas and alphas share the same common blood, an alpha cannot physically harm a beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. Oh, that's is interesting. However, if a beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the alpha. Also, the alpha wolf can seine beta wölfe nicht verletzen, weil er dann die gleichen Verletzungen bekommt. Okay. Symptoms of werewolfry. When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality, even physical appearance. Therefore, look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing violence, increasing aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness and other bizarre behavior. Unfortunately, over time these symptoms can be brought under control, so do not rely upon them exclusively. Okay, man kann Symptome erkennen wenn der Werwolf noch recht jung ist. 
zum Beispiel ähm, überaus gewalttätig oder aggressiv, ähm, sehr viel Wut, Schlaflosigkeit, Ruhelosigkeit und allgemein sehr bizarres Verhalten kann man bei jungen Werwölfen betrachten, aber ältere haben das irgendwann unter Kontrolle. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society Manos del Sol of Bra Brazil. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with the man's capture. Manos del Sol, okay. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the Manos. Mhm. Ich hätte es auch alles Gracie vorlesen lassen können. Das wäre vielleicht für meine Zunge besser gewesen. <lacht> okay. Ein Brief an Ludwig der Zweite. Äh, uh, okay. Ich glaube, ich lese jetzt aber erstmal das Tagebuch, oder? Oh, die Schrift kann ich aber sehr schwer lesen. Das lasse ich Grace vorlesen. Warte mal. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. Okay. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights the lamb bleated to no purpose and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. Okay, die Schattenjäger haben damals einen schwarzen Wolf gejagt. Okay. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenager, 20 April 1750. Okay, die haben den letztendlich dann gefangen, den schwarzen Wolf. 20. April 1750. Dann haben wir, glaube ich, jetzt das Datum, um irgendwelche Akten einzusehen. Aber ich will nochmal hier diesen Brief durchlesen. König Ludwig II. von Bayern. Ich glaube, um diesen König... Da, also... Ich habe mal gehört, da gibt es einige mystische Geschichten drum, also auch Verschwörungssachen und so. Aber genau, was da passiert ist, weiß ich auch nicht. 4. März 1864. 4th of March 1864. To King Ludwig II, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. I beg your forgiveness for my forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety and thus have no time for subtlety. I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. Äh, aber haben die den nicht 1750 gefangen? Oder habe ich das falsch verstanden? I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants only to guard you. 
I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Okay, äh, König Ludwig II. hatte irgendwie Connections zum Schwarzen Wolf. Warum? Keine Ahnung. Aber Christian Ritter, warum jetzt von Ritter da steht, weiß ich auch nicht. Ähm, kannte den König und hat gesagt, bitte halten Sie sich von dem fern, euer Majestät, oder was? Looks like biographies here. I wonder if there's anything on... Yes, Ludwig. König von Bayern. König Ludwig. Sein Leben und sein Sieht. Die letzten Tage des König Ludwig II. Hm. German. That's not much help. Looks like biographies here. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. I wonder if Christian Ritter's journal is here. Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820, ordained a Schottenjäger, died 4 March 1864. The 4th of March? That's the date on the letter. I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. There's nothing else on. Warum nimmt sie denn das Buch über König Ludwig nicht raus? Hm. Naja, dann halt nicht. So viele Bücher zu übersetzen. Oh, mir wird ganz bang. <lacht> naja, okay. 1838, 1864. Here we go. 3 January 1864. I am now in Prussia. The beast that brought me here has so far bested me. He is secretive and skillful. He has much self-control, unlike what I'd been led to expect. He seems to know almost before I do where and when I will be stalking him. He turns up his nose at my lures. Three more disappearances have occurred and I'm no closer to learning his identity nor finding his lair. I can't even prove he took them. Not a single corpse has been found. Hmm, also sehr schlau. March 3rd, 1864. I have had a break at last. The key was in front of me all the time. The black wolf, he so daringly calls himself for all to hear and none to truly see. It is worse than I could ever have suspected. He is not just a beast, but a monster. His jaws are already around some of the best throats in Europe. I return to Ritter's book tonight. I must warn those in danger and get someone to assist me. I am in over my head. Hmm. Geht das nicht weiter hier? Hm. Ich will dieses Buch haben. Looks like biographies here. I wonder if there's anything on... Yes, Ludwig. König von Bayern. König Ludwig. Sein Leben... Hey. I'm not sure what I hmm. I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. <sighs> Hard at work night. It wasn't worth picking up the first time. <laughs> Who should I call? Oh, um, can we not den Professor Barclay anrufen or sowas? Oh, Mist. Oops. Ah, yeah. Oh. Hello. Professor Barkley, this is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. 
Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy or something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning, anyway. Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Der arme Mann. Okay. Hm. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. Gut. Ich glaube, wir könnten noch mal zum Rathaus gehen und nachfragen, weil wir haben ja jetzt das Datum, oder? Hm. Vielleicht sollte ich mich mal gerne mal entschuldigen, falls das überhaupt möglich ist. Hi. I can just imagine the cozy nights. Yes. Nein, wir können uns nicht entschuldigen. Okay. Autoschlüssel, will ich irgendwo hin? Aber ich kann ja mal nachfragen. Do you have the keys to the car outside? That is Gabriel's car. He doesn't even let me drive it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, thanks. All right. Gut. Ab ins Dorf. Ab zu Herrn Habermas. Remember that werewolf trial I asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. I heard of this case when I was a boy, uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it I never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was there, all right. Uh, what did you want to know? Everything. Hmm. Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schattenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was. Uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh. Ja, ist natürlich irgendwie... Ist ja auch ein Mensch irgendwie. Wäre natürlich schön, wenn man einfach den Fluch brechen könnte, ne? Hm. Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the Rathaus basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Haven't for many years. Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess... Yes. It says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? 
In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. Ja, da haben sie ja recht. Es kann ja auch übertragen werden durch Geburt. Und der Introfilm, da ist ja eine Frau und ein Kind geflohen. Und im Hintergrund hat man ein Geheul gehört. Das war wohl dieser Werwolf. Und ob die Frau und das Kind geflohen sind, wissen wir ja nicht. Was mit dem Kind geschehen ist. Ob das Kind noch existiert. Hm. Did it change back? That's what it says. They put the wolf in a cell and the next morning they found a man in there. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Ralek uh, from Alfing. Baron von Ralek. What happened to the alleged werewolf? He was interrogated for two days. He confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day, and he was uh, sentenced to death by quartering and the stake. Uh, he was given a final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> was there anything else? I suppose not. Unless... Is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. Yes, <laughs> the Bürgermeister. Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. Are you all right, miss? I'm fine. It's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I tell you what. Normally this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Goodbye and good luck. Bye. So süß. Ja, das mit der Vision war ein bisschen merkwürdig. Was ist mit Grace? Ist sie irgendwie magisch begabt? Hat sie irgendwie das dritte Auge oder sowas? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Von Rolex slept here. Hmm. Yeah, for langer, langer, langer time. Claw marks. Der wollte hier wohl raus. He asked to see a confessor. Ah, ja. Jemanden von der Kirche, der sollte ihm irgendwie ja, seine Sünden abnehmen oder so, keine Ahnung. Hello again. Did you need something else? Ja, ich würde ganz gerne irgendwie mit der Kirche reden, aber der Pfarrer Getz kann kein Englisch. Hm. I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes. 
You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed to give a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might tell us more about the Baron's life. Hmm. Good idea, young lady. Those records are in German, though, and Father Get doesn't speak English. Do you think this would really help your Schattenjäger? I'm not sure. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Getz, and he'll see if they have a record of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, okay? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Certainly. Oh, you got my curiosity up too, you know. <laughs> Oh, Grace kann eigentlich voll gut mit Leuten umgehen, wenn sie denn will. Mayor Snowd. Bruder Getz, bitte geben Sie der jungen Dame jegliche Akten, die wir über Baron von Ralek haben. Die Daten sind von 1750. Ich werde Ihnen die Akten persönlich zurückgeben. Danke, Habermas. Mayor Habermas's note to Father Getz. Aber warum Bruder Getz? Ich dachte, das ist Vater Getz oder Pfarrer Getz. Hm. Naja. Ich kenne mich da auch nicht so aus mit der Kirche. Entschuldigen Sie bitte? Ja. Das hier ist von Herrn Habermas. Ein Moment bitte. Das ist für Sie. Danke schön. Danke, Herr Getz. Oh, ich meine Vater Getz, Entschuldigung. Father Getz gave me this file, but I'll need help translating it. Was habe ich hier? Gabriel's case. Did I mention that Gabriel is a pig? Good thing I'm doing all this for me. Mm, ja, so wirklich abkaufen tue ich das aber nicht. <lacht> Werewolf Case in Rittersburg. Victor Ritter's Journal. I think I found the werewolf trial Werner mentioned. An entry dated April 20th, 1750 describes how Victor trapped a black wolf that was supposedly a werewolf. Victor wounded it in the chest. It was brought to Rittersburg. Not sure why or what happened next. The Schattenjägers didn't involve themselves in the trial, it seems. Black Wolf 1864. I found a letter in the Werewolf lore book. It was dated 1864 and was written by a Schattenjäger, Christian Ritter, to King Ludwig II of Bavaria. It warned him about someone called the Black Wolf. Not sure if it's related to werewolves or not, but the letter was in the werewolf book. Find out more about this subject if possible. Mm -hmm. I have the church file. Excellent. Let me see it. What's this? <clears throat> This is in English. It's from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. It's addressed to St. Georg's Church. The date is 1764. What's it say? It's a request for information about the death of Baron Klaus von Raleck. It says it's for the family. I assume someone answered it. Hmm. Curious? What? The, the seal on the envelope. A wolf? Okay. <clears throat> the last confession. Mm -hmm. The Raleigh family 
uh, took the symbol of a black wolf uh, to represent their great skill at the hunt. Uh, let me see. Uh, Klaus von Rolleck says that he lived up to, to the family symbol too well. His friends nicknamed him the Black Wolf, uh, but he confessed it was more because he was prideful and uh, treated his villagers and women uh, very badly. He was much feared. The Baron confesses that uh, a life of sin brought the werewolf curse upon him. Ah, listen to this. A gypsy camp, uh, Hungarians, uh, came to Alfing one day. He wanted one of their young women. Uh, he had her brought to his castle by force, and there he... Raped her? Raped her, yes. He intended to release her, uh, but before he did, the girl killed herself. The next day, an old gypsy woman from the camp uh, cursed him, saying that he was to become the shape that his name and his crimes showed his heart to be. I see. Soon afterwards, her curse came about. Klaus von Ralek began to change, to run at night as wolf, uh, to kill and eat human flesh. He begs forgiveness from God and from his wife and son. Uh, he says he welcomes his punishment, if only it will pay for his sins and save his family from further pain. Hmm. That is all that is written. Wow. Thank you. I'll uh, return this father gets for you. Thank you. Good luck to you, young lady. Eh, and to your Schottenjäger. <laughs> okay. Ich will noch mal gucken, ob ich mit Werner noch mal sprechen kann. Über das, was ich gelernt habe. Herr Huber? Yes? Kann ich gar nicht. Aber über Ludwig den Zweiten. Do you know anything about King Ludwig the Second? Of course. Everybody knows about Ludwig. He was the last true King Bavaria had. Why do you think I hang his portrait? Eh? Or that article on the wall? Eh? Do you know what that is? That is from the Munich newspaper the day after the king died. My great-grandfather saved it. It has been handed down to every first son. That is what Bavarians think of Ludwig. Hm. Ich muss leider gestehen, so viel weiß ich über Ludwig den Zweiten gar nicht. What was Ludwig like? Why is he so revered? Oh, he was a genius. He had a great mind, you know. He built castles, is what he did and kept on building them until they killed him. Who killed him? Them, those politicians. <laughs> they, they said he was crazy, got a doctor to sign some papers. They arrested him. Then what happened? What do you think? They killed him. Oh, they said it was suicide. But me, I don't believe that. It was murder. Hmm, politische Rangespiele. Thanks. Bitte. Ja, ob das stimmt oder nicht, weiß ich nicht. Könnte auch eine Verschwörungstheorie sein. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Ich glaube, das hat auch viel mit irgendwie Otto von Bismarck und König Ludwig II. und so. Bayern und Preußen und so. Ich glaube, bis heute sind die Bayern nicht gut, auf Preußen zu sprechen. Ich glaube, es gibt auch eine... Eine Beleidigung, so Saupreis und so, also Saupreuße. Müsste ich mich vielleicht noch ein bisschen mehr erkundigen.
Warte mal. Was habe ich da? Okay, so nur das Bug. Da war ein Letter in der Wolf. Ach, warte mal, hä? Hätte ich nicht eben noch eine andere Seite aufgeschlagen? Ich bin verwirrt. Naja, Ludwig II. Werner Huber says that Ludwig II. was the last true king Bavaria had. Says he was a genius, built castles. Politicians declared him insane and he was arrested. Werner thinks he was murdered. Obviously, Werner's opinions are one thing, but I need to find out some facts. Hat nicht auch das Schloss Neuschwanstein gebaut? Das ist irgendwie so ein Schloss, was richtig schön und romantisch aussieht. Und auch dieses Disney-Schloss wurde da ähm, inspiriert von. Ach, guck mal an. Rathaus Records. The Black Wolf caught in 1750 was brought to Rittersburg in order to give it time to regain its human form. They wanted to identify it. Rathaus Records. The wolf was kept in the Rathaus dungeon. Rothaus Records. The werewolf was tried and sentenced to death. He died in town. Rothaus Records. The black wolf that was brought to Rittersburg did transform back into a man. He was identified as Baron von Rolick from Alfing. St. George's Church Records. Gives Baron von Rolick's last confession. Says before he became a werewolf, he was a real SOB and was nicknamed the Black Wolf. Also had a black wolf on the Von Rollick coat of arms. Says he became a werewolf when cursed by a gypsy to live up to his name. <laughs> Am I going crazy? The Black Wolf is who Christian Ritter was warning Ludwig II about. But that was 1864 and Von Rollick died here in 1750? Do all werewolves call themselves that? Definitely need to find out more about the 1864 Black Wolf, if possible. Ich vermute ja, dass der Sohn das kleine Kind am Anfang überlebt hat und sich auch den schwarzen Wolf nennt. Hmm. St. George's Church Records. There was a letter in the Von Rollick file from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. He was requesting information about the case for the family. The envelope had a black seal featuring a wolf. Der Sohn macht sich auf den Weg, um Inf Informationen über den Vater zu finden. Aber warum Buenos Aires? Hm. Christian Ritter's journal confirms that he was after a werewolf and had connected it, him, with someone called the Black Wolf. Doesn't look like he ever got him though, because the entries end there and his date of death is given as 4 March 1864. Same date as the letter. If he died for the letter, it was in vain. The original's still sitting here. I'm pretty sure Ludwig never saw it. <laughs> Guess that old Ritter curse was doing its thing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Professor Barkley will call when he finds out something. Okay, okay. All right, Knight, I've got your research.
kleines Päckchen. Now I just need somewhere to send it to. Ja, die Adresse brauchen wir. Das äh, wird, glaube ich, schwer. Ja, der will es ja nicht sagen. I have Gabriel's package ready, but I need an address. Gerne, meine beste Freundin. I don't have anything to say to her right now. Aber, aber... I found the items that Gabriel wanted. Did he tell you where to send your research? Yes. His lawyer's office in Munich. Can I get the address? Harald Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, München. Ohne Postleitzahl? Naja, okay. Thanks. Okay. Auf geht's zur Post. Das kann Gabriel bestimmt helfen. Aber so wirklich hat er das auch nicht verdient. So nett ist er auch nicht. Grace. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Kann ich mit dir sprechen? My German isn't good enough for chit chat. Okay, na gut. Das Päckchen so nach Muschen gehen. 7 Mark 40, bitte. Dankeschön. Bitte sehr. That'll give him something to chew on. Uh, how, how are you? Uh, is this the castle of the shot and joggers here? Yes, but I'm... How exciting! Come along, Emil! <laughs> we are so thrilled to be here! Emil said it's the 1990s, for heaven's sake. The shot and joggers are probably long gone. Well, of course they aren't, I said. A family like that doesn't just dry up and blow away. The good Lord's put his mark on them. Who are you? I was just wondering the same thing, dear. Neither of you girls look like the heroic type, but who am I to judge? God chooses his soldiers, and who am I to put in my two cents? No, we're the, we're the Smiths from Merrimack, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is my wife, Merle. You can call me Emil. My husband. If I don't get right to the point, he'll get there for me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. Uh-huh. Well, how did you hear about the Schottenjägers? Oh, we're demonologists. Uh, my wife makes it her business to know a lot about a lot of different things. Uh, she's a regular, what you call, uh, occultist scholar, aren't you, Mother? That's right. Yeah. I read about you all when I was studying an old witch trial last spring, and I have been dying to get over here ever since. Well, so nice of you to stop by, but I'm afraid the Schottenjäger isn't here right now. I'll let him know you called, though. Oh, no. And I was so hoping to talk shop. We fighters of darkness are so rare these days. Don't I know it can't scare one up to save your soul. No, it's not your fault, Missy. I, I told Merle to call before he came. No, people just don't take you seriously unless you're standing right there. You know that, Em. Well, it's rather late, and if you're driving, you might as well, you know, oh, go out uh, right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to spend the night at the guest house in town. Stop by tomorrow, won't you, dear? You and I can exchange stories at least. We'll see. Well, come on, Merle. These ladies are tired. I think we've got to go. But, Anne. Come on, man. let's go. Let's go. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. <gasps> What's wrong? It's not your fault. This just happens, man. I'm sorry. I'll get her some water. Give me your hand. Oh. I see. 
I see danger. Someone close to you is in danger. Gabriel? I see something. Something like a wolf. A black wolf. Uh, 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 don't you worry, miss. Uh, my Merle is going to be all right. This just happens sometimes, that's all. It just, it just happens. Come on, Merle. Let's go. Come on. What happened? I don't know. Offensichtlich hat sie echte magische Fähigkeiten. Ja, die Smiths, die sind echt lustig. Ich wünschte, es würde ein Point-and-Click-Adventure mit deren Abenteuern geben. Das sind auch so Dämonologen, Okkultisten, äh, Krieger des Lichts, die gegen die Dunkelheit ankämpfen. Die wirken zwar irgendwie wie Leute, die sich das nur ausdenken, aber die sind tatsächlich echte Leute, also die sich damit auskennen. Und ja, ich würde sagen, wir machen einfach mal weiter. Kapitel 3 Gabriel hat schlecht geträumt von einem Schwan, von König Ludwig und einem schwarzen Wolf. Na Mensch. Äh, hm. So hier. Gabriels Notepad. Ach so. Baron Friedrich von Globers Visitenkarte. Baron Friedrich von Glauer. He lives in the Perlaka district. Mangfallstraße 5 am Perlacher Forst. 8000 München. Okay. Äh, hier irgendwas. Nee. Gut. Soll ich ihn mal anrufen? Nee. Gut, dann nicht. I don't have anything to write about at the moment. Was Neues in der Zeitung? Äh, München, Dienstag, der 19. März 1994, Nummer 56. Killerwölfe schlagen in der Innenstadt wieder zu. It looks like there's been another wolf killing. And this one occurred last night in downtown Munich. Der letzte und bislang grausamste Vorfall versetzte die Bevölkerung in Angst und Schrecken und die Behörden sehen machtlos zu. Heute Morgen gegen 1 Uhr haben die Killerwölfe ihr sechstes Opfer gefordert und dies mitten in der Innenstadt. In einer Nebelstraße der Dienerstraße, nicht weit vom Marienplatz und dem Rathaus, schlugen die Mordbestien wieder zu. Die Leiche wurde gegen 1.15 Uhr in der Althofstraße entdeckt, als die Pflastersteine in dem kleinen Hof noch immer mit Blut bedeckt waren. Dun, 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 dun. Tja, dann wollen wir noch mal in die Stadt fahren. Ich glaube, ich fahre aber erstmal zu Übergrau. Oder ich fahre in die Innenstadt und gehe zu Übergrau. Und frage ihn, was er darüber weiß. Eine Ausrede, damit ich bei Harry sein kann. <lacht> Ach, guck mal, Perla.
Das vereinbaren Sie am besten mit meiner Sekretärin. Gut. Ja, danke. Ah, oh, I was hoping you'd stop by. Um, I have a package for you. Mm, really? Uh, yeah, this is one. Must be from Gertie. I trust this morning finds you well, Mr. Knight. <clears throat> yeah, I'm lucky it's found me at all. You can call me Gabriel, by the way. Oh, of course. Call me Harald. Um, Harry's okay, too. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, Harry. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say right now. Was doch? Ich will alles erfahren. Address Package. Grace Nakimura, Schloss Ritter, Ritter's Weg 64, Rittersburg, Rechtsanwalt, Harald, Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, 8000, München. Okay. 18. März 1994. March 18th, 1994. Gabriel, you might as well know, I'm in Rittersburg. I wasn't about to sit in New Orleans and let you have all the fun. Besides, if it goes anything like last time, you're going to need my help. I've been doing the research Gerda said you wanted. Enclosed is a book you might find useful. It looks a little outdated, but then I've never dealt with werewolves before, so it's hard to be sure. There's also some werewolf history right here in town. I found some clues pointing to a werewolf called the Black Wolf. He's cropped up in a couple of places, including here in Rittersburg in 1750, and in association with Ludwig II, a Bavarian king that died in 1886. It's all ancient history, I know, but something tells me that it is relevant. I'm not sure where to go from here, except to look into Ludwig II. Ask around about the Black Wolf in Munich and see what you find out. Also, let me know if you want me to research Ludwig or join you there. I'm sending this to your lawyer, but I'll need to contact you directly. Send your address and phone number ASAP. Herr Huber is being stubborn and won't tell me. Be careful and write. Grace. Damn it, what the hell is Grace doing here? At least she's off in the ozone somewhere. The Black Wolf, Ludwig II. She's really losing it. Eh, nein, she had more rausgefunden als du. Aber gut. Uh, sollten wir das vor Harry machen? Ja, eigentlich nicht. Aber er interessiert sich ja für diese ganzen Sachen. Also hat er sich das verdient. Übersetzt habe ich das Ganze ja schon. Ich werde es einfach nur noch mal von Gabriel vorlesen lassen, damit er diese Info bekommt. Weil sonst kann man nämlich nicht weitermachen. Chapter 3. Lycanthropy. The Ways of the Wolf. There are two categories of werewolf cases. False or lycanthropic disorder cases and genuine werewolf cases. Lycanthropic disorder. Lycanthropic disorder is a mental condition in which the subject called the lycanthrope believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims. Man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds, such as howling. Werewolves and Immortality Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical diseases due to the constant regeneration of the physical tissue. They can therefore be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any other form of death that causes brain or heart damage such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. When here steht, um, werewolves are immune from aging. Also, die werden nicht älter. Dann suchen wir ein kleines Kind, weil der Junge ist ja ein geborener Werwolf gewesen. Aber irgendwie kann ich mir das nicht vorstellen. Wahrscheinlich wird er irgendwie zu einem Mann und dann altert er nicht mehr oder sowas. Becoming a Werewolf. There are several ways to become a Werewolf. They include being given the power of shapeshifting through sorcery. 
being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way called the Lyconia curse, being bitten by a werewolf and being born to a werewolf. In each case, the blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse, or bite, is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood. Once he does, his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him. Even without tasting of human blood, however, as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul, it cannot enter into heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death. Werewolf Packs Like real wolves, werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pact often leads them away from their secretive lifestyles into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to werewolfry for companionship. This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth, or curse. In other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the alpha werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called beta werewolves because they became werewolves through the bite of the alpha and carry the alpha's tainted blood. Alpha and beta werewolves. The relationship between alpha and beta werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope. As long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. It is important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since betas and alphas share the same common blood, an alpha cannot physically harm a beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. However, if a beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the Alpha. Hm. Okay, der Alpha-Wolf kann einen Beta-Wolf nicht verletzen, sonst verletzt er sich selber. Aber ein Beta-Wolf kann einen Alpha-Wolf attackieren. Und ein Beta-Wolf kann einen Alpha-Wolf sogar töten. Und dann ist er Fluch gebrochen. Nur dann, wenn der Beta den Alpha umbringt. Und... Jemand komplett Fremdes kann den Beta verletzen. Der Alpha kann das nicht. Okay. Okay. Symptoms of Werewolfery When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality even physical appearance. Therefore, look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increase in violence, increase in aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness, and other bizarre behavior. Unfortunately, over time, these symptoms can be brought under control, so do not rely upon them exclusively. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society Manos del Sol of Brazil. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with the man's capture. Hmm. <laughs> Harry hört die ganze Zeit zu. <laughs> Na ja. Haben wir auch den Brief von Ludwig bekommen? Nee. Haben wir nicht, glaube ich. Nee. Victor Ripper. I don't have time to worry about this historical stuff at the moment. I don't think it's got much to do with what's going on here in Munich. Du bist so doof. I don't have time. Na. Du bist so doof. I don't have time to das solltest du dir vielleicht aber mal angucken. Naja, okay. Um. Ah, jetzt kann ich ihn was fragen. Okay.
Do you know anything about King Ludwig II? But naturally. Have you uh, been running into him much on your tour of Munich? Running into him? Isn't he dead? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, long dead. But he is still everywhere, like your um, Marilyn Monroe or uh, Elvis. He is the Bavarian enigma. Hm. Wird wahrscheinlich auch äh, benutzt, um Produkte zu verkaufen, was ja eigentlich nicht so schön ist. Das wird bei Elvis und Marilyn Monroe ja auch gemacht. So what's the big deal about this Ludwig guy? <laughs> They call him the fairy tale king. Uh, he's very romantic and mysterious, you know. He built castles and now they are huge tourist attractions. Castles? Where are they? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, Herren Chiemsee is about three hours southeast. Uh, Neuschwanstein is southwest of the border with Switzerland, about two, two and a half hours. Um, I can have my secretary draw you a map, if you like, but um, most German maps have them already marked. Uh, no, no thanks. Uh, I wasn't thinking of going myself. But it does seem like a harmless enough activity for someone else I know. Mm. So this guy's just a dead king, right? And these castles are just out in the countryside, hours from Munich. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That's so gemein. Wieso kann er nicht mit ihr zusammenarbeiten? Naja, er weiß ja nicht, dass sie da tatsächlich was rausfinden wird. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? No. Uh, sorry. That's all right, I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, tschüss, Harry. Well, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Okay, dann werde ich mal versuchen, den Tatort zu finden. Das interessiert mich doch schon. Oh. They're busy. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Da will ich erstmal den Brief an Grace schreiben. Nee, ich guck mir den Tal oder. Ach, da ist er ja schon. Guess I figured out where last night's killing took place. Direkt neben dem Club. Hm. I don't think they'd know much about it. Das sieht aus wie der Kommissar Lieber. Isn't that the detective from the paper? Kommissar Lieber? Kommissar Liebe, my name is Gabriel Knight. I've been trying to get in touch with you at the station. Ja, war wohl nix. Ja, da war die Polizei noch in grün gekleidet. He's not listening. Kann ich ihm irgendwie, warte mal, den Bericht geben? Kommissar Lieber, my name is Gabriel Knight. I need to discuss some evidence with you. What do you want? I'm busy here. I have some evidence here that uh, contradicts the old zoo wolves theory. I was wondering if maybe we could discuss it. Look, I don't know who you are or what you think you're doing, but I don't have time for this. <lacht> Wie war das? Sir. <lacht> Symptome Aggressivität der Polizei äh, Oberkommissar da ist der äh, Werwolf. <lacht> Looks like a television news crew. Hmm. Are y'all with the news? I have some information you might find of uh, interest. You're an American. That's right. And you believe you have information about the mutilation killings? I do have some information, yes ma'am. I was about to discuss it with the commissar over there, but uh, he seems kind of busy. I thought I'd speak with y'all instead. <laughs> Nun gut, was soll's? 
Dreh schön, Dieter. Gabriel der Fuchs. Wir befinden uns am Tatort des bis jetzt letzten besonderen Todesfalles, der durch die Killerwolfe herbeigeführt wurde. Mit mir befindet sich ein Amerikaner, der offensichtlich wichtige Hinweise bezüglich dieses Mordfalles hat. You believe you have information about the wolf killing, sir? Uh, yes, uh, yes I do. I was about to ask uh, Commissar Lieb over there some questions, such as why animal hair found at the crime scene is reddish brown when the escaped zoo wolves were gray? Er fragt, wieso die Tierhaare am Tatort rötlich braun sind, wie doch die entlaufenden Zuwölfe offensichtlich grau waren. And uh, how come paw prints found at the scene indicate an animal much larger than the zoo wolf species Canis lupus 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 lupus? Und er fragt, wieso die Pfotenabdrücke am Tatort viel größer sind als die der Zoowölfe. How did you get this information? Well, All right, you have my attention. Now, who are you? Gabriel Knight, what is that? Well, I'm Gabriel Knight, the American novelist. I've been by your station to see you, but uh, funny thing, they, they would not let me in. All right, I'll see you at the station later. But only if you agree to get out of here and not talk to the Pwes. You got it. Der hat ein Aggressionsproblem, der Mann. Äh, die Polizei ist doch sowieso schon so doll in Verruf geraten, wenn es um die Bevölkerung geht. Und jetzt ha hat er irgendwie einen Zivilisten umgerempelt. Vorlaufender Kamera. Das ist nicht unbedingt so schlau. <lacht> naja, gut. I wonder who the victim was this time. Ja. Vielleicht sollten wir mal hier reingehen. Vielleicht haben die was mitbekommen. Hallo, Xaver. Mein Kumpel. Good morning, Herr Knight. I'm afraid there's no one here at the moment. They're all busy with their daily tasks. You are, however, welcome to use the club. So I've been informed. Thank you, Xavier. You're so kind. Plötzlich. <laughs> hmm. Mind if we chat for a moment? Anything to be of service, sir. Mm. The Black Wolf. Er kann nichts sagen über den Vorfall in der Seitenstraße? Das ist genau neben den. Naja. So, tell me about the club. What about it? How long has the club been around? Since 1970. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the old Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge? It's older than that, isn't it? The Königke Bayerische Hofjagdloge is ancient. This particular form of it is new. Hmm. What happened in 1970? Baron von Glauer came. He brought a new vision. The lodge had nearly died out. Hunting is not so popular as it used to be. Were you here when von Glauer joined? Baron von Glauer. He hired me later, in 72. Hmm. How many members are there? There are five now, not including you. I'm not sure of your status. Five? You mean the men that were here last night make up the entire club? Quantity is not an overriding concern with us, Herr Knight. The Baron personally interviewed and approved each new member. Despite your own experience, this club is extremely exclusive. Not everyone would fit in. No, I don't suppose they would. How often do the club members go hunting? 
as a group once a month or so. <laughs> once a month? <laughs> Hell, I thought y'all were hunters. Mm -hmm. Back home, you don't get out there and spill a little blood at least once a week. The other men start looking at you funny. <laughs> <laughs> Organized club hunts are once a month. Members can use the club's lodges anytime on a more casual basis, and they frequently do. Hmm, einmal im Monat. Hm? Ich weiß, was noch einmal im Monat ist. Naja, ein paar Dinge sind einmal im Monat. <lacht> so, uh, tell me about the club members. I don't gossip about our members, Herr Knight. Gossip? <laughs> With you? Please. I've never met anyone as obviously discreet as you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You could drop a load if you wanted to, though. You probably know more about what goes on around here than anyone. True. At least I used to. But with all these new people coming in, I'm not sure I know anything anymore. All these new people? You mean I'm not the only fresh blood? No, Herr Dr. Klingman was only accepted a few weeks ago. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Who brought him in? I was not in on the discussion, so I really couldn't say. But I'm sure there was more thought behind his acceptance than yours. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, Xavier. Thanks. Nein. Haben Sie schon mal davon gehört? Nein. I don't think I should get too comfy around here. Rotes Leder, das ist mal ein Statement, würde ich sagen. It's in German. I think this is the Spiegel. I can make a mark to search for if I the Ausgabe find. <laughs> Dead things. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Dead things. And I thought Germans only drank beer. And I thought German. Nice plant. Hübsches Grünzeug. <laughs> Locked. Locked. Hm. Wer hat den Schlüssel? Stimmt der Xaver. Den muss ich irgendwie austricksen. Aha, eine Tür in die Seitengasse. Naja. Wollen wir hier mal eins und eins zusammenzählen, Gabriel? Nein, offensichtlich nicht. Gut. <lacht> Nichts Besonderes. Gar nicht auffällig. Okay. Wie? I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Aber ich muss an den Schlüssel kommen. Ähm. Ich muss den Xaver ablenken. Na, mit Kant und Nietzsche wohl nicht. Dä, dä, dä. I've already got a watch, thank you. Cuckoo's Cuckoo clocks. Yeah, why? Vielleicht kann das ja ein Geräusch machen oder so. Ich kann sogar reingehen. Ach, guck mal. Grüß Gott. 
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Grüß Gott. Authentic Black Forest Cuckoo Clocks. Maybe Gracie would like one for her shop redecoration. He doesn't strike me as a sparkling conversationalist. He doesn't strike me as... <laughs> Cute. Yeah, well, there is some. Um, there is in there uh, this uh, sound thing, you know, to 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 wake up, you, you know, in the morning. Uh. An alarm clock. Yeah, yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, richtig. Yeah. How much is it? How viel? Sixty marks. Oh, das ist ganz schön viel. Aber es ist ja auch Handwerkskunst, Holzhandwerk, Uhrenhandwerk. Das ist schon okay, denke ich. Äh, ja. I'll take that woodpecker clock. 60 marks, bitte. Er hat das Geld ja, er ist ja reich. Rich kid. That's all right, I'll take it as it is. Danke schön. Bitte. So. You never know when a little woodpecking will come in handy. Yeah, that's schon a good tip. The frage is nur, wo check ich das hin? Hier macht es ja keinen Sinn. Da sieht er mich ja. Ähm ich frage jetzt, wo will ich denn ihn weglocken überhaupt? Ähm I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Ist der Schlüssel bei ihm am Körper oder ist das hier beim Pult? Weil wenn es am Pult ist, dann muss ich ihn ja möglichst weit weg vom Pult. Dann würde der nächste Raum ja keinen Sinn ergeben, sondern... Hier? Vielleicht. Ne, draußen hört er das, glaube ich nicht. Hm. Ach, guck an. Hä? Äh, das würde, würde doch jetzt schon Geräusche, ma Geräusche machen. Das ist doch auf 12. Naja, egal. Wurscht. Wurscht. Hat's geklappt? Nee. <lacht> Oder doch? Was ist das für ein Kuh? Somebody's at the door. I can hear. Ach, deswegen macht er das. Weil es klingt wie ein Klopfen. Jetzt aber schnell. Ja, schneller, Mann. Everything all right? Everything is fine, Herr Knight. Wie sich freut. Xavier. Xavier's Keys. Club. Ja. Bevor ich da runter gehe, will ich aber erstmal den Schlüssel wieder zurückpacken, damit der Verdacht nicht auf mich fällt. Äh, ich hoffe, das geht überhaupt. 
bin ich mir gar nicht so sicher. Äh, ich hoffe es einfach mal. Zurück. Dumm, di dumm, di dumm, di dumm. Hm. <lacht> Möchte wissen, wer das ist. Kann ich in dieses Buch eigentlich reingucken? Nothing there I need. Na gut. Ganz ruhig. Everything all right? Everything is fine, Herr Knight. <lacht> Gut, dann müssen wir noch den Beweis entfernen, die Kuckucksuhr. Und jetzt gucken wir uns um. Aber ich will erstmal speichern, ich weiß nicht, was passiert. Äh was ist das denn für ein Folterkeller? Oh, ein Trophäenkeller. Von Zell, Reis, von Glover, von Zell. Den Riesigen hat von Glover geschossen. Aren't some of these endangered species? Ja, das ist vielen Jägern, also Großwildjägern, die so Exoten schießen, tatsächlich egal. Aren't some of these endangered species? Aren't some of these? Ja. Aren't some of these? Just a guess, but I don't think this stuff has much to do with hunting. Hmm. Yeah, menschlicher Schädel. Hmm. Kann ich mir hier noch mehr umsehen? What the hell do these guys hunt anyway? Ninjas? Ninjas. What the hell do these? What the hell? Photos of the club hunts. Looks like Von Glau and Von Zell monopolized the camera. Or the hunts. Photos of the club hunts. Looks like Von Glau. Oh, Kabine. Da ist so eine Jagdhütte. Oh Gott, ein weißer Tiger. Ein Hirsch, wieder Jagdhütte. Baron von Glover und Baron von Zell. Die sind wohl richtig dicke miteinander. Naja. Okay. Ich hier irgendwie hin? Nee. Kann ich eigentlich irgendwie? Warte mal. I have to load a tape first. bisschen doof, dass Gabriel nicht so ein Notizbuch äh, benutzt. Also er hat ja eins, aber er 
schreibt da nichts rein. Ist zwar cool, dass man hier alles lesen kann, aber seine Gedanken schreibt er halt dazu nicht auf. Oder ich habe es jedenfalls nicht gefunden. Hm. Ah, was steht da? Flöhe. Gerät. Lange. Kratzen. Aha. Preis. 30 Mark. Eigener. Was steht da? 1600? Nee. 500 Mark. Hennemann. 100 Mark. Ich muss mit den Leuten reden, damit ich endlich mein Zeug bekomme. Mhm. Wer ist denn ich? Ich muss die Nummer von... Ha, 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 ha. Amerikanerin. What? Bryce von Agner Hanneman. I met them all last night. I wonder what these figures mean. Bryce von Agner. Mr. Knight? Hey. This room is for members. Only. Oh, sorry. The door was open. I'll go up. Wait. I'd better make sure you do not take another unexpected detour. To you. Oopsie. Sava, Sava, kommen Sie. Ja, Baron von Zell. I found the basement door unlocked and her night below. Perhaps you could keep a better eye on the keys in the future. I will, Baron von Zell. Dann werde ich mal mit ihm sprechen. May I speak with you, Baron von Zell? Yes. What is it? So, uh, what do you do for a living, Baron von Zell? For a living? My family is in banking, Herr Knight. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm a writer. A writer? How aggressive of you. Hmm. That's very unsympathetic. The club seems to be an exciting place. Do you all travel much uh, as a group? No. Well, really? You don't hunt abroad? We are all very busy men. No, isn't that odd? <laughs> so, uh, how do you like the club? A night. If you wish to learn about the club, you should keep your mouth shut and observe. Hmm, aggressives Verhalten. Symptome? Wer weiß. How about tell me about the other club members? I have a better idea. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Like what? For example, why are you in Munich? Oh, uh, I'm just vacationing and thought I'd stop by on my way through. Really? And where are you staying in Munich? Outside of town of ways. Which suburb? I'm on a farm, actually. And you know, I, I don't remember the name of the area. Probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. <laughs> yes. Quite curious for someone with a supposedly high Germanic background. Yep. I guess going out and making your mark on the rest of the world will do that to a family line. Hmm. 
I take it you're particularly fond of hunting. Uh, I noticed photographs downstairs. Uh, you and the Baron sure do get around. We are the best. You may find that out for yourself someday. Oh, I'm anxious for us to hit the field. Uh, I have a feeling there's a lot I could learn from you. You may find yourself more challenged than you can imagine. True. I don't get in as much practice as I'd like, and hunting's like any other sport. The more you do it, the better you get. Bullshit. Hunting is a matter of the spirit, of will. So it is. However, Evan could see that von Glover and I have had more practice than the others in the club. We used to hunt together quite a bit. Used to? You don't hunt together anymore? No, not often. Hmm. Hmm, von Glover ist ihm wohl überdrüssig geworden. Are you and Von Glauer too busy to hunt much these days, or have you all fallen out? I suppose I've simply outgrown him. Mm. Really? In what way? You wouldn't understand. Oh. You mentioned that y'all don't go on hunting trips abroad? We do not. But those trophies in the basement, uh, do y'all really have white tigers in Germany or lions? The majority of what the club hunts are far more common species here night. The trophies in the basement are exceptions, and they were obtained quite legally. Whoa, you misunderstand me, Baron Von. I think not. In any case, the basement is not public territory, and its contents are, therefore, none of your concern. Uh, of course, I, I do apologize. As a guest of this club, the why you are a guest of this club is a mystery to me. But as a guest, perhaps you should limit your prowling and sniffing to areas which you are offered openly by those who belong here. Okay, chill, dude. You're so right. <laughs> Ich wollte noch über den schwarzen Wolf reden. Mist. Und... Oh, Fuck. Ja, ich glaube, eigentlich muss man immer von oben nach unten durchgehen. Bei dem, was man sagt. Aber ich finde halt meine Reihenfolge oftmals besser. Aber... Mm, na, <lacht> Jetzt bleibt ein Mysterium, der schwarze Wolf. Na gut. Ja, irgendwie von Glover und von Zell sind irgendwie nicht mehr so Best Friends. Hm. Okay. Und irgendwie gehen da illegale Aktivitäten vor sich, wie sie zu irgendwelchen exotischen Tieren kommen. Hm. Äh, tschüss, Xaver. Xavier. Polizei. Vielleicht ist er ja jetzt da. Hallo. Kommen Sie herein. Du, wie wird man Polizei? Kommissar <lacht> Lieber? So generous of you to see me. Sit down, Mr. Knight. <laughs> now, you will tell me what you think you know about this case, yes? Yes. How do you say uh, quid pro quo in German? There is no translation. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Sit down. What are you proposing exactly? You want information? I want information. It's uh, kind of convenient that way. I can't give you police information. <laughs> Why not? I'm not asking for anything confidential. Hell, I can't even read the damn newspapers around here. Press release stuff, that's all I want. 
All right. But then it's your turn. Agreed? I hear you. Das Plakat im Hintergrund, du, wie wird man Polizei? Ich habe gehört, das gibt es tatsächlich. Und das ist ein offizielles Plakat von der Polizei damals gewesen. Das Kind fragt ihn wohl, du, wie wird man Polizei? Das ist irgendwie so ein Plakat, das damals benutzt wurde, um irgendwie, ja, jungen Polizisten anzuwerben. Hm, keine Ahnung. At least he's neater than Detective Mosley. Probably nothing of interest back there. Besides, I can't see past a commissar's big head. <lacht> Sehr viele deutsche Charaktere in diesem Spiel werden irgendwie als aggressiv dargestellt. Hm. How long have you been a commissar? Ten years. All of them here in Munich? Yes. And a criminal commissar is like what, a police detective in America? Americans don't have so many ranks, I think. A German criminal commissar is say, more like an English chief inspector. Ah, P.D. James. What? Uh, nothing. Are the wict uh, victims the killer downtown killing the black wolf? Uh, downtown killing the killer. No, I glaube erstmal über den Killer. Um, have you considered werewolf free? Um, nein. <laughs> Tell me about the other victims. What do you want to know? How many victims have there been? Five, including the one downtown. Could there be bodies out there that you haven't found yet? No. The killings have been done in broad daylight. Body parts left like a trail of board criminal. Breadcrumbs? Jack the Ripper Wolf. When were the other victims killed? The first was 32 days ago. Hmm. Two days after the zoo wolves escaped. Uh, and the others? The two teenage boys were killed 20 days ago. The Huber girl, six days ago. They're speeding up. Maybe. Hmm. What about the locations of the killings? Uh, any pattern there? You can see for yourself if you like. I have a marked map on the wall. Until last night, the killer always struck 30 to 40 minutes outside the city. The first was killed north of München near Esching. The two males were killed in Feldkirchen, that's east. Tony Huber was killed on her parents' farm just west of Lacham. Tell me about the latest victim. Male, 52, Grossberg was the name. He was a furrier. Ironic, isn't it? A furrier? <laughs> what an amazing coincidence. Hmm. Had Pelze gemacht, oder was? Hmm. Have any theories about why the killer struck downtown this time? No. Do you? I read somewhere that uh, wolves are clean animals. They don't kill close to their lair unless they're forced to. But lair? What are you talking about? I'm not sure, actually. Random thought. Hmm. 
<laughs> what does forensic say about the killer? That information is not for the press. But the bite mark, saliva, you've seen the bodies, I haven't. All I can say is, it is an animal. Hmm. Mind if I take a gas? Your boys in the lab say the bite marks are canine and are closer to wolf than to dog. But beyond that, they can't pin it down. Uh, nothing like it on the records. Probably a weird hybrid. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> you keep saying an animal. You found evidence of only one animal? One bite pattern, one saliva type? Yes. Yet two wolves escaped from the zoo. As you say, the zoo wolves do not figure into this at all. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No, I definitely would not say that. The killer isn't one of the zoo wolves, is it? That is information the press does not have, Mr. Knight. I expect it to stay that way. I understand. As you pointed out so loudly at the crime scene, evidence on the killer does not match what we know of the zoo wolves. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about that? Either there is a mistake with the zoo records. I think the zoo would know if they had a reddish-brown hybrid in the wolf kennel. I didn't say it was likely. Another possibility is, of course, that another animal is responsible. Wild? Possibly. Maybe a pet. A pet? As in maybe the reason you haven't been able to track the thing is that it's going into someone's home. It's possible. Das mit dem Werwolf werde ich noch nicht fragen. Du schmeißt doch mich raus. <laughs> Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? The hair samples we have are all reddish-brown. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd heard of a Black Wolf in general. Hold on. Is this what missing persons case a runaway teenage girl it happened in 1989 in a town called Kirschel in the Nationalpark Bayerische Wald Bavarian National Forest uh -huh. oh, I just thought I remembered something it was a sad case you know she was very pretty ah yes here it is what there was a supposed witness, an old lady who lived on the edge of town near the woods. She says she saw the girl go into the woods the night she disappeared, says the wolf got her. The wolf? The old lady had been complaining for some time about a huge black wolf in the woods, but no one believed her. She was verrouped. Crazy. Uh, no one else ever saw the thing? Hadn't been any wolves in those woods for 50 years. Probably nothing to it. That's what I thought at the time. Of course, that was years before this case. Never heard of wolf attacks back then. Mm. 
Do you get a lot of missing persons cases in Germany? Oh, sure. Mostly teenagers, runaways. It gets worse all the time. Families are not like they used to be, yes? Suppose not. Okay. Have you... Uh, have you given any thought at all uh, about the possibility of... Thought? A werewolf? <laughs> Never mind. That's all I wanted to know. Good. We discuss you now, yes? I guess. You want to tell me, or do I have to ask? I'm investigating the murder of Tony Yuba for her parents. Why? I'm an investigator, that's what I do. <laughs> You're an American P.I.? You could say that. And how did the Hubos end up hiring you? Mutual friends. I see. And this evidence you have? A paw print and some hair samples from the Yuba farm. I spoke with some folks at the zoo as well. All right, Mr. Knight. I don't know how the police deal with you in America, but in this country, we don't like civilian interference. I understand. If you hear something, you come to me. If you see something, you come to me. And under no circumstances are you to speak with the press. You do. And I'll have your passport. Well, you wouldn't like it. It was a bad hair day. <laughs> I am quite serious. <laughs> I swear, not a word. All right. I can't stop you from investigating. But stay out of our way. Quiet as a shadow. That's me. This map, it marks the locations of all the wolf killings, right? Yes. Hmm. What? Uh, the one last night, the, the one in the middle? It doesn't really fit, does it? It has to fit. It happened. I suppose. I still say that one in the middle is different. Großberg, Größe 185 cm, Gewicht 125 Kilo, Stockmannstraße 405, Telefon 555-4432. Grossberg. Didn't Lieber say that was the name of the guy who was killed last night? Kann ich das aufschreiben? <lacht> ich bin so auffällig, unauffällig, wie ich nach links oder rechts gucke. Mirror. <laughs> good. At least he's neat. Ja, ich gehe dann mal. Tschüss, Kommissar Leber. I'm gonna take off. Stay out of trouble. Of course. <laughs> Hm. 
So, was haben wir denn hier? Großberg 555432. Grossbergs Phone Number. My name is Knight. I'm an American associate of Herr Grossbergs. Yes. I was just calling the people in Herr Grossbergs' address book to notify them. Have you heard that Herr Grossberg has... Yes, I, I know about his death. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me your name again so I can check you off the list? Uh, Knight. Ella Hoffman. I'm not finding you. Could you check under Vaughn? It's Vaughn Knight. Oh, so, yes, Vaughn. Von Eigner, von Frank, von Stein. Mm -hmm. You're not under Vaughn either. Excuse me, did you say Von Agner? Yes. Do you know Von Agner? I don't know him. I don't know most of Grossberg's business contacts. But Grossberg knew him. If this is about money, you're out of luck. All the accounts are locked until someone comes in and takes over. Besides, there's nothing in them anyway. Hmm. Really? Well, could you just look up an account balance for me? I can't. The address book is all I have. The police have taken Herr Kosberg's letters. Oh, well, thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. Von Eigner. So, ich muss ja auch noch einen Brief an Gracie schicken hier. I'd better make sure Gracie keeps busy elsewhere. so wirklich warum. Im ersten Teil hat sie ihm richtig viel geholfen und auch gut geholfen. Und auch hier im zweiten Teil tut sie das. Ich verstehe nicht, warum er sie fernhalten will. Vielleicht wegen seinen Gefühlen oder so? Hm. My letter to Gracie. Geht's. Auf geht's. Kann ich nochmal mit Harry sprechen? You mentioned the possibility of my using your secretary for research? Uh, Any time. Great. I wouldn't ask, but I need a newspaper search done, and my German sucks. <laughs> no problem. What exactly are you looking for? Missing persons. Actually, missing persons cases that occurred in or near forested areas. Uh, how far back do you want to go? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I can spare her later in the day. Uh, we should have it ready for you by tomorrow. Great. Thanks. Well, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dann gebe ich meinen Brief ab. Blub, blub, blub. That's taken care of. Hm. Das heißt, ich würde eigentlich ganz gerne Baron von Glover besuchen, aber die Folge wird wahrscheinlich schon richtig lange sein. Ich würde sagen, was mit Baron von Glover ist, 
Das erfahrt ihr erst in der nächsten Folge. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.